13 million. Forty million naira. Take a damn check. The Jew has paid my price. Take your money to hell and burn. Why are you being so stubborn, insensitive, adamant, even hmm? selfish? <laughs> you are nothing but a mere female species. You don't have right to do what you're doing. Ichie, you do not have any right whatsoever to insult me in my house. I might be a female, but I have my rights, and I know those rights. <laughs> More money. Right. million naira. Like I said, my prince. Go to hell with your check. I don't need it. What necessary for that man? Put it there as an old picture. Leave that cover up with stupidity. Gentlemen, your parents are dead. And you're only a female child. You have nothing. Absolutely nothing in this place that is in your name. We only allow you to live here out of pity because you are their only child. You live here until you get married. And after that, it's over. Everything your parents own belongs to the community. So, why don't you just accept what we offer you and move on? Give us the papers. Now, so, let me say it in a way that she will understand. I will never release those papers to any of you. I would rather hold on to them until the day I die. Gemma. Let me tell you something, don't you? The reason why any man needs a female child is to have someone else in the house to help his wife in cooking, washing, and to help the wife in general household chores. That's all. Yes. And when she is of age, 
The female child is only used to the family, is the bright prize to be bent by the man who will eventually become her husband. That's all. That is all you are. And that is all you will ever be. Well noted, Ichie. Thank you very much. The only way you can thank me is to give us what we want. Give us the papers. And I said I won't. I would do no such thing. Even for a billion naira, I would never release that land. Never will I. I think it's high time you left. Now leave my house. only a stupid man that sees a blind person and thinks that he or she is stupid. We may be blind, but we are one of the few people in the world who are very sensitive to our surroundings. We may not be able to see you, but we hear your footsteps even before you take them. We feel your intentions even before you voice them out. We are and will always remain one step ahead of you. I need you to understand that. Just for you to know, I need to take a nap. Take your miserable self out of my abode. And when you leave, do not forget to shut my door. to believe that a blind girl poured water all over you and broke your waist. You are very stupid now. Very, very stupid. Do I look to you like a liar? You may call me names, but your explanation as to what happened does not make any sense at all. You are simply jealous. You. You are simply jealous of the fact that the king made me on a who instead of you. That is why you feel you can insult me anyhow you like. Look at you. Anyway, let me tell you something. I am the owner who of whom me the kingdom. And I will remain on a who until I die. Your Majesty. This man is undermining my authority in this palace. And I want you to ask him to leave immediately. Yes. Let him leave. Your Majesty, you are not saying anything. He is not saying anything because you may be the Onuwu of Umwete. But I still remain one of the most powerful men in Umwete. So shut up. Shut your mouth. You are a fool. You are a stupid fool. It you, seems a loop. Your Majesty. That is did enough. You hear, did you hear one I said that is enough. Sit down. I want you to listen to me. I am not trying to disrespect you. I'm only asking you to sit down because we have more pressing issues at hand to discuss. But if you want to continue standing and bickering, then sit yourself. Your 
He had no rights at all. Absolutely no rights to come in here and intimidate you. Massive. Why talk like you don't know the reason why all these things are happening? I keep saying it, and I will say it again and again. EJ Maria should let go of that land. Excuse me? Yes, you heard me. She should let the land go since his bravery has so much problem. Moreover, we may don't inherit the land here in Umite. And kingdoms around here. I'm ashamed of you for a woman born and bred in the 21st century. You graduates, for God's sake. How then do you have this kind of mentality? What hope do you give our young ones out there? What kind of mentality is this, for God's sake? Matthew, stop dreaming and get your head out of your ass. Since the days of our forefathers, things have been exactly like this. So no matter what you do or not do, it can never be changed. Women can never share the same rights as men. Yes, Ijema, you are a woman. And the only place you have a right to own anything is at your husband's house. Not here in your father's house. Fine, you may be the only surviving child of your late parents. But that doesn't mean that that land belongs to you. Let the king have it. And... If the king doesn't have the land, what will he do? I will make a life miserable. I will apply every single kind of forceful method available on earth. I will make extensive use of my staff of authority. And by the time I am done with her, she will sign over those documents to me without even knowing that she has done to think that a king will make a caricature of himself is a huge joke of the year. And what do you mean? That king is not just any king. We are talking about a king who sits on a mountain of money. So because he sits on a mountain of money, you believe that Ijema should accept his money? Well, if you're that cheap and classless, then Stick it to yourself, please. Jima, did you hear her? Why is she insulting me now? What's the meaning of that? Well, I see no insult in what she had just said. You are the one who has been making wild utterances, And I feel you should talk less. Listen, Amaka. If the king thinks he can use force to take Ijima's ancestral land from her, then he's a huge joker. Then you'll come face to face with something mightier than the injustice of men. Oh, you shut up. A man is ready to pay 50 million naira just for a parcel of land. And here you are, still calling it injustice. Ijema is our friend. Tell her the truth. I feel you are the one who should shut up. My king. Remember that the fight for this land did not start today. You have done everything, including using your authority as king to try and coerce the girl into giving you that land, but she refused. You then planned to use the government to take the land away from her, but you were stopped. Do you recall what happened? Okay. Ogwefi, I need to understand where you are coming from. Are you in any way trying to tell me that I should no longer use my powers as the king? I'm not exactly what I'm saying. But I know that you have tried to use the same thing in the past. Do you recall what happened? I humble myself before the Annie of Umite, the central deity of Umite people. I already placed a cow in the compound of the chief priest of Umite. 
That cow is a gift from me to you. I give you that cow for I am troubled. Before my father died, he handed a land over to me. A land which he said is connected to my destiny. Now, that land has attracted the eyes of the men mightier than I am. They want to take the land from me. But I do not want to sell the land. I am willing to wait to see that destiny that my father spoke about. Please, arise in your honor and save me. Save me and protect me. I do not want to sell that land. Gods of my forefathers, arise and protect my ancestral land. Do this for me and I shall present you another cow. Now, how a blind girl was able to make her way into a new mighty, to speak to the central deity is what I haven't been able to understand. Which I need to remind you that no one can use force to collect an ancestral land from anyone. Ijemma, as a woman, is not entitled to land. And as the only surviving member of the Obiese family, she should get married so that the ownership of that land will be transferred to me, the king of Umwete Kingdom. Do you understand? Your Majesty, you seem to forget that even in the days of our ancestors, women had certain rights. They were simply ignorant of it because the men decided to sit on that knowledge and conceal it. Just get real and stop of this nonsense talk of yours. It may be nonsense talk to the men who have allowed their conscience to be seared with hot iron. A woman is the mother of a man. And only foolish men undermine their mothers. Look at you. Who is talking about mothers here? We are not talking about an overambitious blind girl who is standing in the way of the king. Point of correction. She is not standing in anyone's way. Rather, she is fighting for her inheritance. My king, I'm pleading with you to use your persuasion to make her change her mind. Please, any form of force, I am out of it. Well, you have made your point. And I want to be left alone now. Is that what you think? That is not true. Yes, of course. We are bluffing. So then, you don't know the story of Adeni. And who is Adeni? Before you conclude that a woman has no inheritance with her fathers, I must tell you the story of Adeni. And who is Adeni? A woman of Umite. She was the only child of a powerful Divya. Adeni's father tried everything possible to have more children, including what? Taking three more wives. None of them could conceive. Adeni finally conceived and bore a son. A son the Divya presented to the Okuku of his Omona as his son. And the Okuku accepted that son. That son later grew up to become the Isi Izenozo of Umuite. Adeni never got married. In fact, after her father's death, she remained in her father's house with her son. And the people of Umuite, including her father's wives, respected her as the new head of the family. She died at a ripe old age. After meeting her great-grandchildren and stuff, you know, after all those years, not once did anyone intimidate her. <laughs> well done, Abuifi Zudu. That was a great story. 
Thank you for the entertainment. The story is not entertainment. Adeyi is a glorious topic in the history of Umwite. That's a lie. It is not a lie. I am aware of the story. In fact, I know of that son who later became the Isi in Zenazo of Umwite Kingdom. But that does not change the fact that I'm in desperate need of that land. Because that is the only available uncultivated virgin land in the world of Umwite Kingdom. Yes. And I want to use it for the cultivation of my royal marble company. That is the point. Forgive me, Your Majesty, when I say this. The land may be what you want, but it's not available. It belongs to someone. And if the owner doesn't want to give it out to anyone, nothing you or anyone can do about it. Ogwefi, why is it that you always find a way to contradict me? Why? You see, Onyeze is beginning to understand your games. You're always contradicting him. You contradict him every time. And if you ask me, it's unfair. It's not fair. Why are you here as a friend to the king and still? You continue to mislead the king. Nobody is misleading me. Oh. Of course, you know that I'm not that kind of king that anyone will mislead. <laughs> Why is it that you always find it difficult to agree with me on anything? Why? My, uh, my king. Oh, don't you dare call me that. Why is it that any time I have a problem, you always go against me? Why is it that every single time I am looking for something, you will use everything within your powers to see that I don't get it? Why is it so? But, your majesty, you are surely bringing wild interpretations into this, huh? I invited you as a friend and a confidant because I want a quick solution to my problems. And all you've done is to play advocate for my enemy. Oh, just like the proverbial hypocrite. Oh, yeah, but that's what you are. That poor girl is not your enemy. I'm only telling you the truth. For once, I thought we would have a common ground. Now get out of my palace. What? I said stand up and get the hell out of my palace. You heard me the first time. Please, your majesty. Is it that you did not understand what he said? Or you did not hear him properly? Listen, get out get, of my palace this minute before I force you out. I throw you out. Get out means get out. So get out. Huh? That's what it means. Simple. Get out. Oh, you are contradicting the king. King will say this. I tell you. I don't understand. I don't understand anything. What is it about this so-called piece of land that is about to give my man heart attack at this age? Is it because the piece of land is a virgin land? Are there no other virgin lands in other communities? I don't get this. Hello, Dibi. Even if you won't talk to me, at least try and eat something. Hello, Dibi. Hello, Dibi.
Elodie be done. Elodie be done to dare walk out on me. Elodie be. I don't get it. Why is my man so obsessed about this piece of land? Am I about to lose my man over a piece of land? Ilodibe! Mr. James. Uh, All I can tell you is that that woman is a good businesswoman. In fact, the best businesswoman I've come in contact with so far. Do you know her father has several lorries registered under this campaign? And every month we pay her. Do you know what she does with the money? No. Utmost maintenance of her lorries. If anyone breaks down, she gets it fixed immediately. Unlike other lorry owners. According to her, she doesn't need much for daily upkeep. So most of the money in her account is channeled towards the maintenance of her lorries. Mr. James, that woman is one in a million. In fact, if I had met her before my wife, and if she wasn't blind, I would have married her. I'm sorry, manager. I think I have missed something here. Are you saying that she's not an employee under this company, but a business partner? <laughs> Ijema Obiese is not just a partner here. She's one of our major shareholders. <laughs> Manager, when I walk into this office, I never expected that our conversation would lead towards this direction. Actually, I have something in mind. You like her, <laughs> right? Manager, forget the fact that she's blind. She is very, very beautiful. Mm. And uh, I wanted to ask if you think she would accept to go out with me. You are officially the third person who has walked in mm. here with that same question. Uh, manager, I overheard you say she's like a sister to you. So I figured you know better. Considering the fact that she has this uh, reputation of being so hard to get. Yes, you are right. She's like a sister to me. Uh, so what do you think of me going out with her? You know, I don't engage her in such discussion. Manager, in a one a man you matter. Won't you assist me? I don't know why you will approach me with this. Manager, won't you help me out? I don't know. <laughs> Your Majesty, I am dazed and flabbergasted, cum elevated by this honorable and royalty cum elevated visit, sir. Your Highness. Mm -hmm. Point of correction. You stuck in it, rich. Your Majesty, not Your Highness, is a king, not a prince. Are, are you stupid? Who are, and who are you? Who are you urging to elevate yourself into the realm of creating my tenses, my, 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 my vocabulary on song? Are you stupid? Do you know how intelligent I am? Do you know how educated, information and updated I am? If you want to talk that rubbish, just shit. You know you have a seed in your mouth. I know exactly who you are. I know how learned you are. Which is why I know that something, nothing good will ever come out from your mouth. You need to eat. I will take it from you. Ah, you know, but Mwani, the only graduate of the great and even the greatest university of whom is a polytechnic. Don't make me look down on my elevated self. Let me tell you something. You know, sometimes you mix TV language and they jump. It will sound like a, like a grammar. I, Barista, Okunu Kabondo, the only headmaster of the University of Cambridge. We say it again, and we say it again, we make we again. You are nothing but an illiterate. Stop making noise, you moron. You know how informed, updated, and valid that I am. Don't boo. I will, I will lift you off your feet. You are nothing but a nonsense and ingredients. All hey, right, all right, right, all right. That's enough. That's enough. 
What is happening? Um, <clears throat> all is well, Your Highness. All is well. Otherwise, I will personally see to it that someone will go to jail. And I will personally view it from my own chamber of understanding that a virgin heart of a maiden has been broken. You're just talking nonsense. Your Majesty. You are literate! Oh, Don't no. provoke me. Moron. Are you sure we're safe? Uh, Your Majesty, I introduce barristers. Okuno uh, Kabondo. Uh, 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 and I, Barrister Onobaje Girls, one, the six years. Your Majesty. <laughs> Illiterate. <laughs> yeah. Are you sure we're safe? You're going out. Yes, I am. Okay. If you will not tell me where you're off to, at least tell me when you're coming back. Should I make lunch? <clears throat> that will not be necessary. But... There is no but. I'll see you when I come back. No, David. Talking to you. What is it that you want? Huh? Why are you actually not brave over that land? What do you want? What connects you to that land? My family has offered you 50 million naira and you refused. What do you want? Name the price, everyone has got price. What is it that you want from the royal family in exchange for that land? You really want to know? Yes, I want to know. I want the king, his son. And he changed a little to leave me alone. That is exactly what I want. Leave you alone. How is that possible? How is it possible for us to leave you alone? Maybe there will finally come a time when the gods of my ancestors will make it so that I do not have a choice but to release the land to the royal family without thinking twice. I will gladly do that. But until then, what I want most is that you should leave my house and never return again. Yes, Your Highness. Your Majesty, you. Um, like I was saying, Your Highness Majestic. Before I was rudely interrupted by this low life, a scalawat, a hopeless living. Your Majesty, if you permit me to continue, I will tell you that if you continue using the best version of your time to question our authenticity and audacity as barristers, legal practitioners. I will tell you, Your Majesty, that you don't know the accumulation, the volume of the problems. Um, yes, Your Majesty. I will humbly say that um, this is the first time he's being reasonable since I know him. He's right. Yes. Your Majesty, Take the best part of the scenario of your cases. 
You have succeeded in using your connection, affluence, authority, and dominion to suppress an innocent, beautiful, but blind maiden of Omite Kingdom. But I'm here to pass a judgment from the Supreme Court of Rule that the central deity of Omite will majestically catapult into you before you succeed with his swollen, elevated stomach. Um, Your Majesty, for the worst case scenario, if you finally find a way of killing the girl and collect everything, including the land, the people of Umuite will start pointing finger at you. But before the police will come after you, the gods of our ancestor will strike you with madness. Or either way, first or second scenario, you will die of, of a swollen, swollen stomach. Enough, enough. Now, 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 enough of this uh, dying of a swollen stomach. And all that. Wait, does it mean you do not have any solution to the king's problem? Suggestion of Aru, rather. I will tell you that we embody the solution to the king's problem. But that will be if the king will accept to play along, cum collaborate, versus accepting our terms and conditions. Uh, and what could that possibly be? From the autonomy uh, of the uh, case. Uh, 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 uh. Your Majesty. I can't believe that we have been in the king's palace for over an hour or more and we have not been offered anything within the category or species of cola in our home with OG. And I have descended very low to the level of asking for an earth produce. Ordinary water has never been presented or come presented before this legal luminaries, enlightened bodies. Your Majesty. Um, Your Majesty, a man of my caliber, <laughs> a legal practitioner <laughs> by profession, a headmaster from University of Cambridge. Your Majesty, this is an insult, assault, a subordination, misconduct to me. Oh my God. Your Majesty. I will take it as an arbitration. Standing before a go between, a body that is here to solve your problem. Is it that there are no menace in this elevated and high class palace? I have been to the Queen England or whatever. <laughs> when you get there, you see a lot of pinos. 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 Guards, maids. I have not seen anyone. Your Majesty, I'm, 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 I'm a kind of bamboozled. Huh? No, 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 I cannot take it. Your Majesty. I have been elevated, cum crippled. Are they blind? You see, Your Majesty, uh, do not be worried about those, those men. They may look rough. But they're very good lawyers, very sound. I'm telling you, I assure you. Headmaster of Cambridge. Hi, Your Majesty. Do not be bothered about what comes out from their mouth. Not everything they speak that you think about. But don't there bother. is no way any sane man will not be bothered by the trash they spew. I'll take a look at them. My king, always remember that looks can be deceptive. You don't judge a book by its cover. But by its contents, what it contents, does it? I, I, I just hope you're right. Chie, I'm choosing to believe you because um, unlike Ogwefi and the other elders in council, you are one man that has always been there for me through thick and thin. And I will always be there for you, my king. You I, I sure. We'll get there. You, you see this battle? We'll win this battle. We'll get there. I just hope so. Uh, uh, but Your Majesty, let's not forget their balance. I am surprised they let me in. 
I ordered them to. Thanks for coming. Hello, the bear. You are just different from your father. Obu, if you understand that my father has problem with you. But I needed someone I could talk to. Someone I can confide in. And I have searched thoroughly. And there cannot be a better choice than you. I appreciate. But I must tell you the truth. What is it about that girl? What's her story? Why is it difficult for her to give out that land? And why is there no other person to authorize us to have it? To the best of my knowledge, she's alone in her family. So now that she has refused to bend, what are we going to do? Hmm. I will tell you something, but I doubt if you will like it. Take a good look at me, Obwefi. Does it look like I am joking? You don't seem to understand how desperate I am, do you? Elodie Bay, you and your father should forget about that land. I beg your pardon. You had me right. That blind girl is simply an orphan who is struggling to do all she can to maintain a late parent's legacy. Despite the fact that she is blind, she has made it clear severally that she doesn't want to sell the land. Why can't you and your father leave her alone? With you see, that is the major problem. We want that land. How are we supposed to leave her alone? We must never forget that there is no problem with that solution. Since your mission to acquire that particular land has failed, isn't time for you to set eyes on another? I mean, that is not the only virgin land in the world. Elodie Bay. You and your father should leave her alone. Hello, my jewel of inestimable value. <laughs> the epitome of beauty, the achalon of excellence. Who are you, please? I am someone who is about to become very special to you. An arbiter, a go-between, a mediator, a negotiator, and upper chamber. <laughs> that still hasn't answered my question. I asked, who are you? Where are you from? And why are you here? Um, and what exactly do you mean you're backing out of this whole thing? Exactly what it means. Yes, I'm backing out. We both know that there is nothing we will do to make that girl give up that land. So what are we going to do? Kill her? No. Nobody's killing her. Now listen to me, son. I had some visitors today. And we already came up with a better plan. Yes, even as we talk. They are doing something about it already. Barista Onubaje Girls, a mediator, the upper chamber, a magistrate in their client. I am at your service, my queen. No, you are certainly at the wrong place. I never solicited for the services of a lawyer. So I do not know what you're talking about. My queen, <laughs> at 
you not blaming you because yeah, you, you are you are depraved. You, you, are, you, you, you are you are shattered. If only you can see how sexy and classic and beautiful I am as a man standing before you, you will adjunct the donation and solicit for more. So, Father, when you say you have a plan, what exactly do you mean? I have hired the services of a lawyer, and he suggested that we let him go over to the poor blind girl and negotiate with her. <laughs> What's funny? Honestly, Father, you, you amuse me. We've applied a force on this girl just to release that land. It was aborted. And secondly, threats of life. That also failed. And then we indulge or employ the help of lawmakers, federal government, authorities. And then she took the case from you into the hands of Annie, the central deity of whom we did. As if that was not enough. And finally, I decided to go over to her place to offer her money. And I made a very big fool of myself. And so you think a man negotiation will make this girl change her mind? Oh, Father. You really, really amuse me. Son, you don't have to worry yourself. I know what I am doing. I strongly believe that this is going to work because this negotiation is being handled by a special kind of lawyers, professionals to the core. I know they are going to have a good talk with her. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. So what if this plan of yours fails as usual. That is not going to happen. In fact, I strongly believe that very soon, that poor blind girl will have no choice than to relinquish that land to us. That is what is going to happen very soon. Trust me. Don't you dare come any closer. Herman, relax, my princess. Relax. I am not here to take what we call shortcuts. Hmm? I am here to follow the due process of requesting something from a beautiful queen. I need a favor from you. But before the request, I would like to take you to Card 9. We wear Supreme Court rules. <laughs> yeah. hey. How dare you? Don't come close to me. This is what we call arbitration in judgment. My, pre uh, my princess, see, I won't be harsh. Just relax. Don't come close to me, I said. Don't you there. Listen, listen. I believe that something is trying to stop you from getting a high level from a high intelligent body that will move it. I thought they said that you are blind. Wait, do you should say blind. Can you get hot water? I need to be massaged. Look at this idiot. Huh? Wait, you are telling me that a helpless blind girl beat you to stoop? Well, you are coming here to do. What's wrong with you? You see, you see, you see that 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 word, that word you use, helpless, is the wrongest English in the 
diction and evacuation of vocabulary excellence. You see that girl? That girl is encompassed with the multitude of DJ. Yes, my spirit was evil spirit. She is not ordinary, my friend. Spare me that nonsense. I've always told the chief that you are nothing but a useless coward. I've seen it. If a graduated fool, a first class. Are you talking to me? I'm talking to you. Ichie, if I use my head, what is anointing on him? My Ichie. son to punch him. Ichie, you know I keep people every month. Go go them this month. What this guy this head? Ichie, I keep people every month. Go go them this month. Come on. You keep people every month. I wanna have go go. It's okay. I go have a beer. Leave it. Come. We are supposed to overpower that girl. Uh -huh. Collect those documents from her. Simple! Hand them over to me for onward transmission to the king, mm -hmm. who will also transmit so much money to me. Then in Peter, you will be able to enjoy ourselves. I do not want to. You are here talking. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is wrong? Oh, come on. I do not want to be catapulted into the realm of anger. Because if you prove me otherwise, I will tell you that I know your problem. I know your fears. Your fear is because you are very brief, smallish, and very middle in character. But don't worry. I can beg this my nailed colleague to lend you his elevation shoe so that you can grow tall to look at that maiden face to face. She is not ordinary. Go and do it yourself. Give him your shoe. Uh, 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 see what will happen here. Yeah? As you can see, he's already he's a drunkard. Even without taking anything, you can see he's drunk. No, he is. He even drink in the dream. Yes. You see what I'm going to do? Eh? I'll go there. I'll get those papers for you. Even if you, even if you need anything more than paper, I'll get it for you. And I'm going to prove this idiot that he's another. He's, he's an idiot on top of idiot and idiot again tomorrow. Don't allow me to use my me mega mega magazine, cum, judgmental Supreme Court on you. You will not like me. You see. You see. You are supposed to take me to hospital because all my body are not speaking the same language. My head is speaking different language with my leg. My ribs, they are not communicating. Take me to hospital, you're here talking rubbish. But no problem! I will allow you to try. I wish you good luck. But when you fall back to my chamber to apply for my help, I will sentence both of you to life imprisonment in character. You just useless set of people. This, forget this hey. man. Ichi. He's a drunkard. You see, I thought you are a good man. Hey. Hey. Get out from here, my friend. Hey. See, let me tell you. Just okay. trust me. Forget this idiot. Okay. Talking about chamber or this thing, we stole that in the mango tree. We don't have chamber. Huh? Hey, let me just tell you the truth. But let me tell you something. Once I go, I'll get those papers. Okay. And we can now get the money. I will use my own for anything I want to use it for. Then you use your own and buy fertilizer. But I'll give you a no, but that is because your shortcoming is no, uh, very come. bad. No, no, you see, one thing is this. I will trust you, one, because your best are longer than his own. That is one. Yes, it's Two, here. just move forward. Uh, you can even buy... Move, move let's go. Uh -huh. Move, let's go. It's here. It is either I don't understand what you are saying, or you are not explaining it perfectly. What exactly are you telling me? You gave me your words. You promised me that I would have those documents. They would be in my hand, in my possession, before nightfall. And the day is already gone. What exactly are you telling me? Your Majesty, I'm only asking you to be a little patient. Just be patient for a while. You see, there's been a little change in plans. But you still get the documents. I assure you of that. The documents will get into your hands by the end of the day. And when you say change of plan, what exactly do you mean? Do you mean to say that the barristers failed to do what we agreed? No, Your Majesty. Uh, by all means, no. Uh, you see, um, they are still doing what we agreed they would do. Yeah. Just that uh, due to the change in plans, you understand, it's going to take a little more time, just more than we anticipated. So, just be a little patient. No, my patience is running out. Oh, it is. Your Majesty, just be a little patient. I assure you they will get it. I trust those guys. You don't know them. Oh, my lady. 
your father was a very good friend of mine. I can't tell you how much I've missed him since his death. May so rest in perfect peace. You know, it's always good for friends of your parents to visit you, even if it means um, once in a while. I'm glad you came. Y yeah. You are most welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Um. Okay. Have you poured the drink? Yes, of course. I've done that. Okay. There is a plate of biscuit in the kitchen. Why don't you bring it so we can use it for the drink you brought? Oh, sure. Why not? Um, have your... You are enjoying your your juice. Yes. It's a very nice juice. I like it. Mm -hmm. Very nice juice. Seven good hours and we are still seated here waiting for one man? No, you, please tell me something new. No, no, wait. See, I know. There's that, still on it, I'm sure. Just Still on it? Relax. Who oh, get it? I trust those guys. Hey, I trust that they will get those things for us. Relax. Been poison. I actually thought it was poison. But when I heard you snoring, I considered you to be a very wise and a lucky man. Wait. You mean you you you, you switched the glasses? Switched? I'm only but a helpless blind woman. I only chose a glass for myself. How did you know? That How I, I, did I know you were going to drug me? How insensitive you can be. What do you think of yourself? That you can come into my house and do whatever you so please without me being on guard? I knew you were not my father's friend. Because I know every single one of them and their voices as well. But when you lied to me, I decided to be very careful and I had to take note of every move you made. You should thank your God that that wasn't poison. Because you would have been a dead man by now. Okay. 
you are the one to die before me. Anoma. Can you please tell me the truth about where you got those clowns from? Can you please? Please. Jin yours. Your Majesty. Jin Zelu. That girl is not blind. How, how, how do you mean? That girl is a witch. What are you talking about? Jin What happened? She is evil! That girl is powerful. Hi. Your Majesty, I am not a lawyer, I am not a barrister. In fact, I'm nobody. I am not doing it again. I don't miss. I don't want to do it again. I'm done. I'm, which one is what are you talking about? Now, my dear, by force, I'm not doing it again. Biko. I don't want it again. I'm not doing it. Wait, wait, wait. You've not told me where you got wait, the wait, wait, uh, uh, Can, your Majesty. I was talking to you! Hey, come. It's Angelou, come back here! Elodie, everything we've done, all efforts we've made against this poor blind girl always leads to failure. Why? Why is it always like that? Elodie, do you not understand English anymore? I heard all you said. I have nothing to say. Meaning? And where do you think you're going? Bad. But I'm not done with you yet. Yes, I'm not done with you. I'm still talking. The more you say I am going to bed. Just in case. You haven't realized that it is late already. You kept me waiting over there. For a document you and I know will never come. I said nothing. Good night, Your Majesty. Now, Elodie, sweet dreams. I am not done with you! I am done with you! Ah. Oh. What did she do to that young man that made him conclude that she is not blind? I told Vincent already. <sighs> I am going to change the engine of that truck. They worked on that engine in May. And for it to have knocked down again shows that the engine is terribly bad. To avoid a scenario where a loaded truck will be crippled on the road for days. Don't worry yourself. I'll change it. Yes, I'll have to change the engine of the truck. The person I sent to you will soon be there. Okay? She is still very much blind. Why would this idiot say she is not blind?
Goodbye, Chainsaw. You are a witch. I always do it. You are evil. A witch. A fool at 40. Always a fool forever. Ubefi, what's the meaning of this? Get out of my way. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Ashamed of what? Aren't you tired yet, Nzelo? Beg your pardon. Tired of what? Are you trying to tell me that you are not aware of the new current news spreading around the town about the blind girl and the two idiots you sent after her? So, what makes you think such a rumor is true? And even if it is true, is that enough reason for you to block my way? It is enough reason for me to warn you to give up. It is enough reason for you to stop deceiving the king. Ijemma has made it clear that she doesn't want to give her land to the king. Why digging a hole for yourself by dragging the king along with you? Why parade yourself as an Ichi whereas you are not in anywhere near the title? Nzelo? Nzelo? <laughs> Just hold it there. Eh? Do not try to twist this one. You are not a businessman. Mm. Yes, I understand business very well. That is why I am making every effort to ensure that our king sets up an establishment in this community. Such an establishment that will grant our youths good employment opportunities and jobs. Yes. Such an establishment that will bring development to this community. But fools like you, fools like you, will continue to embarrass themselves and not me. If there is no other indigent that can sell a virgin land to the king, mm. let him go to Umunedi. Yes. Umunedi. In the olden days, people considered such forest mm. at the edge of a town as an evil forest. But we know better. That part of Umuite may resemble forests, but we know it is actually a vast area of empty land that hasn't been cultivated for any reason in years. It's sitting there, harboring nothing but wild animals. Let the king go there and take a portion and clear it and build his so-called company on it. Is there anything wrong with that? Nzelo, desist from your evil way. I won. You, you have been looking for my trouble in this community over the years. Hmm. But I will give you seven cartons of trouble. Yes, seven cartons of trouble. Let me see how you can carry it. Don't worry, I will deal with you. How can you say that? What do you mean? Am I not saying the truth? That girl is simply stunned. And one day, she's going to get herself killed. I can't even believe this is coming out of your mouth. Mm. Are you sure you're Ijima's friend? I am, and that is exactly why I'm saying this. Look at how they're spreading rumors about her calling her a witch. Could she not have avoided this whole madness if she had given the king the stupid land? But no, this is a result of her stubbornness, and I'm going to say it to her face. I can't believe this. No, 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 no. Like, who are you right now? What are you? Look at the things just coming out from me. Are you, are you, are you okay? It doesn't even make sense at all. I can't believe her. Oh, you're working out on me, right? Okay, fine. But just know that I won't stop saying the truth. What a minute. What if a woman doing with langs? Oh! Ilodibe. Ilodibe, I'm talking to you. Ilodibe. What? What? Where are you off to? Where are you going? How many times do I need to tell you that I am out for a business meeting? A meeting that would uplift my kingdom. I'd appreciate it if you stop interrogating me. This is about the land business, isn't it? Why did the king call you out from bed last night? Why don't you want to tell me what the king told you that got you restless throughout the night? 
Elodibe, I'm your fiancé. Why are you keeping things from me? Stop! It appears you are less busy this morning. I'll give you options. Go into the kitchen, cook anything of your choice. Paint your face, paint your nails, paint every part of your body if you so desire. Or better still, walk around the compound, drive any car of your choice. But let me warn you for the very last time. Stay clear my business. Stay off my business. You hear me? I warn you again. Destiny made God! God! But never I don't know what else to do. So Rent is my lady. Do you want anything? Get out! James? Yes. Um believe me, I'm flattered. But I told you already. I don't know why you wouldn't listen to me. I'm not like I'm the only woman in Umwiti. You seem to also have forgotten that I am blind. <clears throat> that is the main reason why I'm here. So that I can take good care of you. James, why are you too stubborn? You don't give up, do you? Yes. I will never give up. As a man, I consider myself a hero. And you are my beautiful dancer. Let me in, please. Hmm? Let you in where? What is wrong with you? Listen, I am not cut out for this. What right? is it about you? What is it about you? Excuse me? I have heard your stories. My stories? Yes. Despite that you are blind, men come around you. A lot of them are rejected. But none of them can afford to hate you. They said you are, you are gentle and organized. Some of them are even saying that they would have married you. Just that you are blind. I think that is why you are so full of yourself. I beg your pardon? Listen. A man can do anything in the name of love. I have had enough of everybody beautifying you and you feel you feel as if you own the world. If we are in the here today. Hey, don't just respect yourself. Hey, respect, respect, respect yourself. Let me go. 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 Thank you so much, my prince. You don't have to thank me. I, I did what every reasonable man would do. I still thank God you came at the right time. I never thought in my wildest dream that James would do a thing like that to me. But then, Please don't talk about yourself like that. Listen, even with all the sights, we still can figure out if a psychopath like that decides to hide the truth. He's just been like that. It's okay. But my prince, you still haven't told me why you're here today. Excuse me? Yes. 
You are in my house. Today. Again. Why are you here? I don't understand. You woke me up this late, brought me out here. And you're quiet? What am I doing here? I want you to get close to her. Excuse me? You perfectly understand what I am talking about. I understand what you mean. But I am still in denial to whom you're referring to. Father, is this... Oh, this is about the blind girl. And if I tell you otherwise, would you believe me? What I wouldn't believe is the fact that my father knows that I have a betrothed. My father knows I have a fiancé, and yet he's trying to hitch me to a blind girl? I am not asking you to marry her. All I ask you to do is to get her to trust you, so she can hand over those documents to you. Is that too difficult a task to ask? To what end? I'm asking you, Father, to what end? Get close to her? Take the land from her and then discard her just like that? Like a trash? Is that what you want? Very well then. Get her pregnant. At least that way she will become a member and a co-beneficiary of the real household. Sometimes when you talk, I ask... Where is your dignity, Father? Where is your sanctity? Where is your royal benevolence? Dignity, sanctity, royal benevolence. You still talk like a child. But let me tell you, son. Forget the issue of benevolence. We are talking about your future. Your future as the next king of Umwiti. Have you ever stopped to think about what it means to build such a factory in Umwiti? Have you? Listen to me, my son. That land is the only large piece of land across the express. And if we succeed in building a factory there, it will attract a whole lot of eyes. That is what we're talking about. And do you know what that will mean for Umwiti? Do you? You think I do not understand the things you just mentioned? Of course I understand. But you are not Oh, no, but my dear son Elodibe. You are a young man in his prime. And you should know what it means to have the unconditional love of a woman. Do me a favor. Secure your future before I join my ancestors. You're not responding to me. Um, I'm sorry, maybe I shouldn't be here. I guess I was just taking a stroll in the neighborhood. I heard your voice and I decided to come rescue you. My prince. You guessed you were taking a stroll in the neighborhood and you heard my voice? Come on, my prince. You are above this level of excuse. Tell me why you're here. I guess I should just be on my way. I'm, I'm sure you're good all by yourself. All right. Yes, I'm, I'll, I'm fine. I'm going to put a call to Massey, my friend. She'll come be with me. In that case, I... I have to go. Have a nice day. Please lock the door behind.
My prince, you came to my house and called me out here to speak in secret. I hope we are safe. What is this thing that you are finding difficult to say? My prince. My prince. I shouldn't have been here. Excuse me. I shouldn't have been here. What is going on? Why is the royal family in turmoil over a piece of land? Over a blind girl? This is crazy. This is crazy indeed. Uh, King, about what happened uh, with those two stupid lawyers? Uh, in fact, I... I um... It's okay. You, you don't need to apologize for anything. I have already forgotten everything about that. Honestly, I want you to take a rest from this land case. Because uh, my son and I have decided to abdicate ourselves. I don't understand. How do you mean handle it yourselves? When the time comes for explanation, you will understand. My king, I have been part of this business from the beginning. And I've calculated my commission from both sides. It's not small money. How can you just kick me out of it and expect me to like the decision? We are up against something far, far bigger than commissions. I want to handle it my own way. Uh, no, Your Majesty, how can you do it? I mean, wait, does it mean you don't trust me anymore? How kick me out like that? Why? Believe me, Jill, this has nothing to do with trust. Absolutely nothing. So, why, 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 why? I'm, only, I'm part of it. I'm in there. I'm, I'm, I'm inside. And I'm pushing it. I want to do it my own way. Unknown caller. Hello? Does it mean you do not have brains? I have told you to stop calling my phone. Why don't you ever listen? Stop calling me before I lose it and come at you the way you will not understand. He's a mad, fearless one. Oh, this is indeed a surprise. I never expected you to be here in my house. But nevertheless, you are most welcome. Hey, Gemma, how are you? I am fine, Awefi. I am that woman who has survived a lot. My fathers are the ones waging the war for me. Uh, anyway, I have spoken to the head of vigilante group of Omoite. From now on, they will have their eyes and ears on you. Thank you very much, Owefi. Huh? You shouldn't at least be living here, you know. Not with everything that has been happening. My friends do come to keep me company most times. I'm fine. It's not the same as living with you, you know. Uh, but I will have to talk to their parents. Let them spend nights here with you for a few days in a week. You don't have to worry yourself, Wafi. I... I believe that James will never try 
what he did the last time. James? Who's James? I assumed the prince must have told you what happened. And that is why you're here. Oh, you, you have no idea? Yeah. No, we have to sign the documents. This company will go by the Deborah of the Dog with the estate, so sign everything before it never happens. Hey, you stop! You stop laughing! What's up, baby? You don't discuss it! What's up, bitch? Oh, wait, please! So this is who you are and what you do! What is it? Oh, wait, please! Stay back! Stay out of this! Get a grip! What did he do? He left a helpless blind guy! What? Uh, listen! Obwevi or whatever you call yourself, I don't know what you're talking about. Don't, oh. don't touch me again. Oh. If, 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 you, if you touch me again. You don't know. Obwevi. What blind girl? What are you talking about? How many blind girls do you work with? No. 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 Not even man. Who else? Oh my God. This is not a joke. Are you serious right now? Manager, I'm telling you what happened. You came here to do business and that has come to an end today. You are leaving this community today and never to return here again. Yes! Manager, I'm telling you what happened. You came here to do business. That has come to an end today. I'm going to report this case against you before the central deity of Umite. If by tomorrow you are still here in this kingdom, no native of Umite will be held accountable for whatever becomes of you. Wait, 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 wait. You have no rights. You can't do so to me. I am not a man of many words. If by tomorrow you are still here, then we will know who owns the land. Mr. James, let me tell you. You will live along with your product and services. And never to return. I mean never to return. Manager, are you kidding me right now? You mean to say you believe this cock and bull allegation? You are still denying. You committed an abomination with a woman of whom Don't worry. You will see the nice masquerade dance in the broad daylight. Bastard. Excuse me. Do you know where you are? Do you know the magnitude of what you've done? How can you try such nonsense? Manager, you believe what that native doctor said? You have not even verified from me and you are crucifying me already, manager. Do you even know this native? Red against Noada, a daughter of the soil, is a serious crime. Leave, Mr. James, and never to return to this land. Manager, if not, the youth of this land may set you ablaze. Leave my office. Manager, leave now! Out of my bush. I said leave! This little doctor, me no more guy. You rapist! Hello? Negot. So, you are telling me that you are engaged to a man who doesn't tell you anything about his plans or whereabouts? I'm sorry, Che. What's the meaning of this? Why are you interrogating my relationship? I am not interrogating you. I only asked you a question. And your inability to give me the answers that I need. No, that's what shocks me to the marrow. It shocks me to the marrow. No, Ichi. The question should be, when your wife was alive, did you know everything about her? Were you that close to her? Are you comparing my relationship with my late wife with what you have with the prince today? Ichi, what's the meaning of this? Why are you beeping your torchlight in my relationship? Egode. Can you stand before any deity today and swear that you are actually in a relationship? Ichi, what's the meaning of this? Oh. You disappoint me. Hey God, you disappoint me. 
Itie! Itie! What is going on? What is happening? What is all this? What is the meaning of this? You're back? Why so soon? Oh, I cannot do it. This ends now. Does that mean you're willing to turn your back on a chance to build a legacy for yourself? Your unborn children and even beyond? Is that it? Can we look for another way? Elodie this is no longer about me. In fact, none of it is. None of it ever was. I want you to listen to me. Very soon I will retire and you will take over. And the question is, is this how you want to begin? When I sat on her couch, I felt I was doing the same thing James was about to do. Take advantage of the helpless blind girl. I did not ask you to rape Wanda. I am a king and of course you know that I will never approve of that. You know it. How else do we achieve this? I only ask you to get her to trust you, that's all. So why are you comparing that with the moves of a rapist? What is the basis for comparison? I'll tell you the basis for comparison. James went there for his selfish interests, his personal desires. Why am I getting acquainted with the Love? No. For my personal interests and selfish desires. Now you tell me, what is the difference? Legacy is the difference. Oh, legacy. Legacy, legacy, legacy. That's all you've been saying. What's your own definition of legacy? James went to that house to get Augusty. But you went there to secure a legacy for yourself, for your future. Can't you see it? That is the difference. Elodie, like I said before, soon you will be taken over. And so I ask the question again. Is this how you really want to begin? What is the king and his son up to? Why is it that nobody is telling me anything? Does it mean that the king has finally lost his trust in me? But wait. Is it ever possible for them to break a gemma, get that land without my impute? is planning to push me aside, then I'm going to prove to him that it's not possible. It can't happen. It can't happen. Wait, Fizu. I only asked you a little question. Just a question. If you agree with me, I don't know why you should be angry with me. A question that requires a very simple answer. Huh. Nothing. You can kiss my back for all I care. Hey. That's a simple question. I'm more here. What is it? I know your plans. Yes! 
I understand your machinations, your evil machinations. But I tell you, yes, I know. You have gone back to make peace with the king, so you will turn him against me. But I tell you, it will not work. As far as I'm concerned, I don't know who of this kingdom. I change Zelu. Zelu may be. I don't know who of this kingdom. And there is nothing you can do about it. Don't worry. Go ahead and do whatever you are doing. Zelu. Uh -huh. I have told you that nobody cares about you. Me? I will tell you again. I... In fact, I am not in the mood of this your rubbish now. So get the hell out of my house. Me? You can... You can... No, 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 Yourself, I'm fine. <laughs> so, so, Ma, you shouldn't stress it, okay? I am perfect. Everything hmm. is okay. No, EJ, you are not. I cannot believe that you were harassed again. See, just come home with me. My mother insists. And the truth is that I love your mother so much for everything she has been doing for me. But, my dear, I'd rather remain in my own house. I can't simply run away because some fools exist. EJ, this land controversy between you and the royal family, it's getting out of hand. And you need security. You wouldn't get it staying here. Ma, why do you worry yourself so much like an old woman? I've told you. I'm fine. Huh? Okay, it's no problem. You want to... See, I have another option for you. Why don't you go to the city, travel out, go to any part of the world. Just don't stay here till this whole madness blows over. Ma, I may be blind, but I'm a fighter. I'm a warrior daughter of my father. I must see to the end of this. For only a fool will run away. I am not a fool. I ask you again. How did you get into this palace? How did you do it? Onyeze, have you forgotten that I'm still a man in council? For the fact that you asked me out of the palace does not deny me the right of coming here at any time when necessary. But this is my house. I agree with you, Onyeze. But this is the place that houses the offer of Umuite. I see. I like the courage, <laughs> the effrontery and temerity. But let me put it to you. If you don't leave this place in the next five minutes, I swear by the gods of this land, Whatever will happen to you, I will not be held responsible. I will leave, Onyeze. But before I leave, I want to plead with you one more time to end the trauma you are making that blind girl go through. She may not have the connection to stand against you, but she's another in Umuite. And the gods do not always take it lightly when they rise for Umada. Think about it. When you see a bird dancing on the road, know that there is a drama behind. Yes, I will leave. Think about it. Up. 
Wavy. When did you come? I was surprised to see you. Have you reconciled with my father? I don't have problem with your father. Your father has problem with the truth. And that truth is what I have come to tell him. What stupid truth are you talking about? What stupid truth? Ilodibe set of a few questions can only be determined by the talents and the ability of human. But if you have given your best, you have already passed. There is a game who's in out from this royal family aimed at frustrating that innocent blind girl. The men who are in the game must desist immediately before they come face to face with the spirit of Umada. Anyone they kill, I repeat, anyone they kill does not ever reincarnate. I move. My friends, I hope you are not letting this confusion match out to confuse you. He seems to understand these things better than you and my father. <laughs> my prince, don't ever let your father hear this. He will not take it kindly with you. He will not. <laughs> my prince, it's like you're on your way out. Where exactly are we going? Huh. <laughs> we move. Yeah. We move. Not to worry. I'll be fine. Your Majesty, I saw the prince on his way out. I see. He didn't say where he was going to. The prince is a grown man now. He should have his reasons. How don't you think so? But does it mean he did not tell you where he was going? It's here, Mr. Lu. You still have not given me a detailed account of how the youth levy that was paid into your account was spent. Perhaps that is why you're here. You see, Your Majesty, you see, the... Uh, I... How many times do I need to warn you to stay off my phone? I want you to stop calling me. Stop using strange numbers to talk to me. I don't want to talk to you. Listen, if you force me to remember you, your family will not even see a corpse to bury. Who 
screen off. <laughs> My prince, I, I don't understand what's going on. It's not been long you left, and you're back again. With so much foodstuffs loaded in my kitchen. What's the reason? Well, it's a token of my apology to you, my olive branch. I don't understand. Well, um, I just want to say I'm sorry. I want to apologize on behalf of my family for everything that has been done to this household. I'm sorry. But I tell you this minute, I want to make a difference. I want to right every wrong. I want to make things right. So I ask you, please, can we be friends? Uh... Um... I know how hard this is for you. I understand. But I promise you one thing. I'll make things right. My prince, it's not like there is a problem. But the whole thing is confusing me. I just want to... It's not like I do know. You don't have to be confused. All I want you to do is give me a chance. I promise you, I will make everything right. <sighs> <clears throat> Your Majesty, believe me when I tell you this. Obefie Zudu is a very crafty and cunning man. He is dangerous. Really, he is. So, whatever he must have told you or, or, or done to make you trust him again, hey, it's all a lie. All of them are lies. I mean, Your Majesty, you cannot seriously be working with him. And what makes you think I am working with him? Uh, well, it appears you have suddenly forgotten that I'm your closest friend and strongest ally. Your only confidant. Yes. I know you are up to something. And since you are not telling me about it, you cannot trust me with it. It only means that Obu Fezudu has asked you not to. You are not expecting me to say something on that, are you? Uh, well, um, you are not obliged to say anything on that. Uh, I perfectly understand, no problem. Uh, and where do you think you are going? Uh, Your Majesty, my house, of course. I mean, it appears I'm no longer needed here, so... Fine. Despite the fact that you have refused to tell me how you spent the youth levy that was paid into your account, I still see you as my close friend. I will tell you the truth. See it. Thank you, Your Majesty. So. Mother, how could you? Huh? How could you? I'm surprised at you. Why, why, why would you do a thing like that? How can you expose a secret to your chains, Why would you? What if Ijema gets to find out? What would you do? Would you at least sit down, son? Please sit down. Please sit. Well, I agree with you. Now, he is a terrible man in so many ways. But he is also the craftiest man you and I have ever met. So if you ask me, I'll tell you that bringing him in on a matter like this is a very good idea. I'm extremely sure that it will be of help in more ways than we can ever imagine. That I'm sure. I hope you know what you're doing. 
Else, you and I are finished. I know what I am doing. Why are you home so early today? What would you have me do? Stay in our house? Father, you have to fix this issue. It's very important. Son, if this is how you want to go about this whole thing, then believe me when I say that in the next five to ten years, I will still be where we are. And this is why I strongly believe that bringing in Ichen Zelu on this is the best thing that we have done. Extremely good. A position to confirm that. Yes. E.G. Hmm? I know this may appear like the prince has good intentions towards you, but you need to be very careful. Extremely careful at that. <sighs> Ma, you don't have to worry yourself at all. There's no cause for alarm. The prince was really sincere when he came here. I perceived that in his voice. Besides, there was no negative vibe when he was close to me. So everything is okay. No, it's not. That doesn't change the fact that him and his father want your head on a platter. EJ, come home with me. See, my mom is worried about you. She, she just come home. Yes. She made me understand that yesterday when she came to cook and clean for me. Your mother is such a nice person. Tell her that I will never stop loving her. I know it. It's, that's besides the point. You know my mother will do anything for you. I know. Um, Ma, you have been my friend for years. You've been so kind to me. I want to appreciate you for everything you have done. But I'd rather live here in a body bag than to walk out of this house with my boot legs. Ijima, you're being serious about this. So instead of following me home, eh, you want to stay here so they will kill you for me, Jay. So you want to stay here. I am the most repaired man in Umuite. You are right. And when you say I'm like a father figure to most youths, including the prince, you are also right. When you say I know what it is that is going on in the prince's mind right at the moment, I have to tell you that you are wrong. For I do not know what the king is up to, neither do I know what the prince is up to. I can't believe this. Nothing but the truth. You look so desperate and disturbed. Because he doesn't tell me anything. Nobody tells me anything anymore. <laughs> the intent. 
intends to marry you. Yes, of course. Then I will advise you to do the very thing that has kept couples going for decades. And what is that? Patience. Partners run into troubled waters when they start suspecting their partners. And partners also lose their partners. Just because they turn blind eyes and pretend nothing is wrong. But in reality, everything is wrong. I already mean to say that you have already made up your mind. So why you inform me in this? Nine. Everyone respects you in this kingdom, and I know she will too. Please talk to her. Mm. Well, I don't know the kind of game the royal family think they are playing. But as for me, I will be damned to let them win. Hey, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> but first of all, you need to, you know, talk to her, make her, make her be more careful with the things she's doing. She needs to be very careful, you know, nine. Please. I just told you, don't worry yourself about that. I will. The nine, the most important part of this meeting is I need you to compel Ijima to start staying in our house. That house is too big for her. Please. But she has a girl that run errands for her. Oh, nine. Okwe, Okwe just does her errands and then she leaves immediately she's done. But I'm, I'm thinking if she stays in my house, then I'm, I'm assured she's safe. If, if Okwe leaves, Ijima just stays in that house. Only her. And it's too big. And I, it's, it's not safe. I don't think it's safe. Well, knowing who Ijema is, I cannot guarantee that. But I promise you that uh, I will do everything within my power to make sure she is safe. And I want to assure you now that she won't make any mistake. Take my word. My word is my bond. <laughs> no. I have told you over and over and over and over again. Stop calling me. What have I done to deserve this madness? See, eh? Just stop calling my phone. I don't want to talk to you. Just get the hint and leave me alone. Listen, if you're looking for who to kill you, look for somewhere else. Please, stop calling this phone. My love, how long have you been standing there? I asked the question. Who are you talking to? She... He... She's my friend. She... <laughs> friend. He... She's your friend. Are you going to constantly be asking this question each time I make to leave this policy? No, but... My dear child, one thing you must understand is that there comes a time in a man's life that he is entitled to his own privacy, whether married or not. That does not in any way mean that he does not love you again. What it simply means is that there are some things a man needs to take care of by himself without involving his wife. What's your majesty? Just go back and relax. Better still, you can open the Queen's quarters and support the opulence in that place. After all, that is where you'll be living for the rest of your life. Your Majesty, it makes me feel good when you say things like that. Well, that's simply the truth. You belong to my son and there is nothing anybody can do about that. Thank you, Majesty. So, 
Thank you, I feel better now. With due respect, Wifi. I understand your care and concern. But I assure you that everything will be fine. You assure me. How exactly do you intend to assure me? Word of mouth. That is all I have. And if you trust me, you will know that I mean every word of it. Oh, I said. I said that you believe that the royal house is not capable of killing you to get what they want. But believe me, they are. If they wanted to kill me, then they would have done that long time ago. You seem to forget that if they do, there will be no one who knows the location of the land documents. Eh? They know that if you die now, they will lose the documents forever. Have you ever thought about that? Wifi. Where are the land documents? Hand them over to me now. Wifi, they are safe. That is not what I ask. But Wifi, if you know me too well, then you will understand that I'm not so stupid to have kept it where people would see it easily. Wherever they are, they are safe. Oh, so... <laughs> this I believe this is my cue. I thought, sir, the discussion is not over. Greetings, sir. Greetings, sir. attacked several days ago and could even extend the courtesy to come and check up on her. And you think I would greet you whenever I see you. <laughs> so, we are now enemies, right? Amaka, do you still consider Ijima your friend? Masi, I no longer consider Ijima as a woman who should run in my side. Meaning what? A woman who prefers to stay back in her father's house and drag a piece of land with men is not my kind of woman. I mean, a woman's priority in life should be finding a man who is willing to give her his son name. But that is clearly not Ijema's priority. However, it is mine. And believe me, I'm walking towards that. Nice one. Nice one on prioritizing whatever nonsense you have in your head. Congrats. Oh, Congrats. please save your sarcasm. But that is not your problem. Your problem should rather be you giving Gemma some good advice. A woman's time passes. And I'm sure pretty soon has will. And we all know that it's a my blind. Imagine an old blind fool. And no man will marry her. I won't even advise my brother to marry her. Oh, you shut up, you slimy, disgusting piece of shit. I can't even believe that I took you for a friend all those years. And not see you for what exactly you are. Listen to me, mother. No man will pick this and put it in his house. Not even a blind man. <laughs> oh my god. Frankly, you have been my lawyer for years and yet you act like you don't know me. Why are you spouting legal terms to me? Listen, frankly, I am not saying we are going to steal the documents. No, that is not what I'm saying. After all, we don't even know where those documents are. Yes. However, there is a plan 
to acquire the documents. And when that happens, your job is simply to change the names on it to mine and that of my son. How is that too difficult a task? Franklin, are you still sure you are equal to the task? Yes? Then get on with it. So you still haven't told me how you managed to do all these things on your own? Well, I would say it's easier for me because I literally grew up here from birth. So I know every nook and cranny at heart. But specifically, I have a girl that serves me. I pay her monthly, though she comes and goes. Ah, so how come I, I never met her? Well, that is a coincidence I can't be able to explain. Come to think of it, you are here again today. You still haven't told me what brought you. Simple. We agreed to be friends, didn't we? Yes, I did agree to be your friend. So that is why I am here. Spare my leisure time to get to know about my new friend. Okay. So why don't you come with me to the kitchen and watch me cook? How about that? Wait a minute. In this condition, you can cook. <laughs> Cooking is an act I have honed and perfected over the years since I became blind. I hope you're hungry. Just come with me. But we'll have to turn. You can turn? <laughs> come with me. It's my house. Just come with me. Oh. Why do you find it difficult to understand a simple language? I said you should leave me alone. I do not want to talk to you. You look angry. Have you eaten? Have you eaten? Are you my mother? How is that any of your business? Ah, Masi Chuku. Please stay very far away from me. Please! What is the meaning of this? This is shameful and disgusting. And in the eyes are rejected here. Yeah. Jesus. Oh, yeah. no. Welcome um, home. Um, surprised to see me. Yes, I am. Uh, simply tell me, in a language that you will understand, what are you doing with that poor blind girl? If you, I'm just... you know what? However, I don't want to know anymore. I am here to tell you that my eyes are on you. Ijemma is like a daughter to me, and I won't have her hurt 
in any way. Ilodibe, be very careful. Careful. That which is hidden will be revealed soon. Um, um. I sincerely love you, Gemma. Like I said earlier, my eyes are on you. Careful. I don't understand. How did he come into this palace? How did he walk his way into my house and made his way into one of my living rooms without the knowledge of any of my, 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 my guards? I don't understand any of it. Pardon me, father. But is that your current problem? Oh, yes. Then you clearly do not understand the kind of problem Obuefi's interest in Injema will bring us. Who is he? As far as I am concerned, the man is just suffering from delusions of grandeur and I might be forced to deal with him decisively if he continue meddling in my affairs. Why are you so bothered about something else? Why are you leaving the main issue? Oh, excuse me, Lodibe. Excuse me. Why are you behaving like a coward? Of course you're not one. Listen, I am not saying we are going to kill the girl, no. So what is he going to do? Arrest us? Certainly he can't. What I am trying to say is, let us get the girl to willingly hand over those documents to us. That is all. I have told you times without number that even if you get her pregnant in the process, you've done a good thing, a noble thing, Enough. and the royal family will be happy with it. Enough. Enough, father. It might be anything, everything you can manipulate. But I am certainly not a male prostitute. Excuse me, Your Majesty. What wrong have I done? I was only trying to calm his fears. Forgive me for not coming to visit since, as a result of my busy schedule. But Ije, I am worried. So worried about you. I want you to leave this village. You and I both know that you can very much afford to rent a conducive house in the city, or even buy one. But, why are you not doing that? Why are you still here? I'm here to protect what's mine. And trust me, I'm very okay. Even at the detriment of your safety? And I'm not just talking about James. I have heard everything that transpired between you and the royal family. And it's not as if they left you alone. The best protection anyone can have in the midst of a storm is courage. Haven't you heard of that before? EJ, I don't like it when you bring in logic to water my presentation. Mm. I sincerely wish you would listen to me. But the truth is that I appreciate your concern. Thank you so much. You're welcome. That's if that's the case, no problem, okay. But why don't you just come over to my house? At least, there you will have the company and protection of my wife and sons. <laughs> if only life was so easy. My friend, I appreciate your care and concern. But not to worry. I am safe in my father's house. Very
Why did you drag your phone from me like that? Drag my phone? It's mine. Who has been calling you with a hidden number? I will tell you once you tell me what you've been up to since you start leaving the house to so an unknown place without telling me anything. Well then, we have reached this torment. All I want. That's not possible. You are mine. You will always be mine. Obiora, I belong to another now. You left me for him. Let's just say I made a better choice for myself. Why? Because I'm not a prince. Obiora, just look at you. You don't have anything to offer me. You don't have ambition. You don't have nothing. I, to... I, I have no money. Is that what you are going to say? Ego, e e there is more to life than money, you know, right? Stop putting words in my mouth. Do not attempt to deny it, for that's your main reason for leaving me. Obiora, let me ask you. What do you even have to offer our kids? I took very good care of you when we were together. And now you doubt my capability of being a good father to unborn children? Come on, Ego, you know deep down that I am a hard-working man. You know. You also know that I have good plans for the future. Unrealistic plans. Plans that are anchored on nothing. That is what you keep telling yourself because you are unwilling to be patient with me. Obiora, please. Just leave me alone. Stop calling me. Stop looking for me. Stop sending me text messages. I think it's high time we said goodbye. Please. Egodi, I do not deserve this, Egodi. Egodi! Ijema doesn't know it. But she has become a major source of income for so many youth in this community. She inherited five lorries from her father. Over the years, she has purchased more lorries and that has put a whole lot of our youth into jobs. So I don't know what is going on between her and the royal family. That's why I'm here. We have to find a way to put an end to it. Oh, it will end, manager. Ijema's late father was my very good friend. And ever since his death, I have kept my eyes on her. You have nothing to worry about. That's the thing, Obwefi. I am so worried. What about if they end up doing something terrible to her? We are talking about a land dispute here. And the both of us know how deadly that can be in our land. Frankly, if you ask me, I want Ijema to leave this land. But she won't, believe me. I have tried bringing such ideas to her ears. But she turned deaf ear. What do you want me to do? But all I can do right now is to assure you that whenever the royal family want to get to her, they must go through me. I am Obuefu Ezeodo. Agadak Bachelu is a one of Umite. No one dares me and go scot free. Especially when it comes to fighting for the just. Yes, trust me. I trust you. <laughs> My love, mm -hmm. my jewel of inestimable value. 
What can I say? I'm not asking you to uproot your life to be with me. I am asking you to share the rest of your life with me. Your dreams, your happiness, your sad moments. Share everything with me, baby. I may not be a wealthy man, but I am promising you that you will never lack a thing because I love you. I may not be a man of weapons or the strongest man in the world, but I will protect you with all I've got because I love you. Please, marry me. Yes. 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 What are you saying to me? Eh? I'm saying I'm tired. I am saying I cannot continue like this. Obiora, I want to move on with my life and give it a meaning. Mommy, where is this coming from? I don't get it. Where is it coming from? Eh? Obiora, it's coming from a part of me that I've decided to face reality. Hey, Mbano. Mbano, Obiora. I can't keep waiting for you to make it in life, Obiora. What do you mean? Eh? What, what's the meaning of this now? But I cannot live all my life struggling with you, not when I have better opportunity. Better opportunities? What do you mean? Be right, goodbye. Um, I'll go do it. I'll go, I'll go wait. I'll go, I'll go wait. Okay? Are looking for a gold. She is now engaged to the prince. What? I, I, I don't understand. What don't you understand? No, tell me. What don't you understand? The fact that the young woman decided to bid you goodbye, or the fact that she now belongs to the prince? No, tell me. How, Ichi, how is that possible? She will belong to the prince just like that. Oh! <laughs> you want me to answer you? No, you want me to answer you? Okay, I will. Eh? It is possible and it has happened. Ego Ode now belongs to the prince, just like that. Eh? Secondly, if you know what is good for you, 
Stay far away from the palace. Do you hear me? Stay very, very far away. Otherwise, you will find yourself in a very dark prison. Very dark. Very dark prison. Just like that, after all we did together, I've lost count of how many times I had a goodie. She will always tell me that she loves me. What happened? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? I just saw you. I thought you needed help. What are you waiting for? Go away! Leave me alone! Go away! Can you just leave me alone? Leave me alone! Leave me alone! I do not see anything technical in my questions. I have a man who is steadily flowing into my life every day. And that man is you. So I am trying so hard to know you better and also to understand you. That's what I'm doing. You son of a bitch. So this is what you've been up to. What did you find? What are you doing here? To catch you red-handed, of course. So this is what you've been keeping from me. It's not what you think. Don't even give me that stupid line. Aren't you meant tired of that line? Listen, can you just can you just hear me out? Ijemba. Are you aware he's engaged? Are you aware the man who visits you frequently belongs to another? No, 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 that's Excuse it. Excuse me! Leave me alone! It's enough. Get out. Why do you want me to leave? I like words in the verb. Why? Leave me alone! Get, get out! Leave me alone! Why do you want me to leave? Get, get out! Get out! Do this to me. Do what exactly? Huh? You think you just open your mouth and you say whatever you like? I didn't do anything to you. Father, please help me tell this girl that I did nothing to her. Are you saying the truth? You have not done anything wrong. I don't believe you, Your Highness. You knew about it, yet you didn't say a word to me. Excuse me? What are you talking about? Son? Brother? What is she talking about? <sighs> My I don't know why she should say something like that. Because I didn't say anything to her. I didn't say anything. Apart from my son and I, you are the only one in this world who knows about that plan. Are you trying to say that you don't even- I swear to you, your majesty, I swear! I never said anything to you. Hey, your majesty. Your 
know why you should suddenly distrust me like this. Why? Eh? I'm not comfortable with this. Eh? You have a brain, don't you? So you should understand what I'm saying. Eh? Find out for yourself. It's... It's not possible. It's not possible? It's not possible, you say? Find out for yourself. Let me tell you. The king and his son are playing a very dirty game. Such a game that will make you lose your marriage before you even know what is happening. Listen. Sabotage it now. Sabotage it now. Otherwise, you will regret it. All right, teacher, I'll see what I can do. You, you only want to see. Why are you not saying anything? You see, My instinct is telling me that you cost things. Why are you denying? See, your majesty, I'm not comfortable with this. How can you so suddenly distrust me? How can you distrust me like this? Hey, how did this start? How did, we, how, how did we get here? Hey, Yes, I wanted to apologize to you. But on the second thought, why should I? Did you catch me on bed with anybody? No. Did you see me in a compromising position with anybody? No. So why should I apologize to you? Why? Be very careful. Ever in your life harass each other. I would descend on you in such a way that you would not believe the two people who have lived together, planning to be husband and wife, who would live happily ever after. I cannot believe what I'll do to you. This is the height of it. Ijemma, Ijemma or whatever you call your name, this is not going to happen. I'm going to teach you the lesson of your life. to any man. Now, have you seen what you have cost? What are we going to do? What are we going to do, Master Planner? First of all, he has denied ever telling anyone anything concerning our plan. Oh, Father. Isn't it obvious? He's a liar. And so, what if he's the one that told Egodi where to find you? What is the big deal about that? Is Egodi no longer a woman? Oh, are you trying to tell me that you cannot handle her? Listen to me, my son. Put her to where she rightly belong and go on with your business. Listen to me, boy. When men go for real money, they appeal to no sentiment. That is how I became rich. And that is exactly how you will remain in money. I see the demon I call my father. 
Ah oui. I said you should go away. Yeah. And what is that? Do I look hungry to you? Yes, you do. But I don't really care. Thanks for my mom. For some reason, she keeps sending you food. Even if it's been years since your mother, her best friend, died. Anyway, enjoy. Love. What 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 are we doing in an uncompleted building? Mm. What? We are with me and we just made love. What? How? Uh, is, is this what I'm thinking? Did you drug me? Drugged you? If I did. You wouldn't perform on me the way you just did, my love. What? Oh, um, 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 stay away from me, you witch. Stay away from me, Amaka. Don't touch me. Hope you. I was a fake you. What? Oh, what kind of temptation is this? Leave me alone, Amaka. Leave me alone. What, what kind of temptation is this? I'm not complaining. Uh, why, why, why would you touch me? Why would you drug me? What have you done to me? What have you done to me? Boy, enjoyed it. Enjoyed what? I, I, I didn't know what I was doing. I was, oh. Come here. Leave me alone. Stay away from me. I hope you like it. Okay. Even with all my eyes. I cannot cook like this. It's not possible. How can you just stew that sweet like this? Mm -hmm. Oh, come off it. Do not flatter me. You and I know that you're a very good cook. And you seem to have forgotten that I wasn't blind from birth. I already grew up here. Knew my environment before I lost my sight. Jay, don't make me cry by remembering all that. No, no, no. It's That's just... not my intention. All I want you to do right now is to eat your food and then be in the mood to tell me exactly what is bothering you. Me? No, nothing is bothering me. Mm -mm -mm, do not pretend. You can pretend to any other person, but certainly not me. When you walked in here, you seemed strangely calm. The next thing you did was to go inside the kitchen and started dishing food. We both know that. You don't eat like this, else you're stressed. Why are you talking as if I've had 10 plates of food already? But this is your second one. The first one you had was in the kitchen. Or you think I do not know? Hmm? EJ. If I say you're spiritual, yet you deny mm -mm. it. Do not change the topic and tell me exactly what is wrong with you. Fine, EJ. It's Obiora. Mm. Obiora. That boy might have a good sight. But he's even more blind than I am. I do not know why you love him so much. That's EJ, I can't help it. But you can't continue to suffer like this. You have to move on. You have to. EJ, 
If you stay away from the prince, I'll stay away from Obiora. <laughs> what exactly are you saying? But I'm not in love with the prince. The way I just glowed. So you, you can't deny the fact you don't love it when the prince is around you. I do not have a problem when he's around me. But certainly I'm not in love with him. This Obiora hurts you every now and then. Love is not supposed to hurt. Yet, the same. It's the ones you love the most that hurt you the most. I know you're an adult. I'll just allow you to enjoy your meal. I believe you'll sort this out when you really want to. Hmm. What? The one I'm taking. Hmm? Give me your hand. Please don't be hurt. Everything will be fine. Get out of my way. I said get out of my way before I do something we will both regret. Do it. I don't care. But if I say you're not stepping out from this house, you will not. That's what? Come on. No, you're going nowhere. You want to go and see that blind girl? Yes, what if I am? I'm going with you. Not on your life. Then you don't want to go anywhere. Get out of my way. No, I won't. Overstepping your bounds, you are getting on my nerves. Out of my way! No, I won't! What I... is going on here? What is going on here? Can somebody talk to me? Brother, please, can you tell this woman to stay clear of my way? Your Majesty, he wants to go and visit that girl. I want to go with him. Young woman, why have you decided to humiliate yourself this way? Do you have any proof that your man is sleeping with that blind girl? Do you? No, Your Majesty, but... Then stay out of the way. Will you? Thank you very much, Your Majesty. Your Majesty... Oh, save it! I have had enough of your tantrums since last week. If you are no longer interested in becoming the queen of this kingdom, then this is the door. It will interest you to know that there are servants in this place. You cannot make a catastrophic fool of yourself. You are here again today. Oh yes, I should. I mean, after what happened yesterday, you, you don't seem happy to see me. What is the matter? The events of yesterday got me thinking. And that is why I want to ask you, my prince. Why are you here? Why are you so interested in making me your friend when you are the verge of making another your wife? Why? At least by now, you should be trying everything possible to make her your closest friend, your strongest ally, or your life partner. But no, you are here. And you have visited me five times in a week. Why is it like that, my prince? Um, I just... No, no, no. Do not come close to me. I am not done talking to you. This has got to stop, my prince. It has to. What? I want you to leave my house and never return. Leave. I don't want you here anymore. Listen, I, I need you. Like I said, the event of yesterday got me thinking. And I was wondering why you, why you warmed up to me so easily, like the land dispute between us never happened. And I came to the conclusion that that can only happen if you have an ulterior motive. beg your pardon. Yes. For some reasons you want to get me to trust you. And when you believe that you have won me over completely, 
You cannot get anything you want from me at the snap of your, of your, of your finger. I won't let that happen. Yes, my prince! Leave. I mean every word of it. Leave and never return. Don't ever come to my house again. Go! Who's been feeding you with all these lies? Who have you been talking to? No one has fed me with nothing. All I desire is for you to leave and never come back. Never come back. Never. What are you doing here? How did you find me? Well, let's say we are not soulmates. And soulmates always find each other. Amaka, what do you want? To be with you, of course. And I do not want to be with you. How is that so difficult for you to understand? <laughs> Obira, so after taking away my virginity, you don't want to be with me? That is not possible and you know it. Unless you want trouble from my parents. Better start thinking about getting married to me. Because for all we know, I could be pregnant. Get that into your head. Did you hear me? Get it into your head. What have I done? How, how did I get myself into all this? How?